Look at how pretty these flowers are. This is the coffee that I get and I always save my glass mugs. Mugs, that's not a mug. I always save the glass bottle from them and then I put flowers in them. These are my favorite roses, they're so pretty. Hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here. I'm quite excited for this video because I feel like I have mastered how to get the very voluminous 90s type blowout hairstyle. I have already done this video in the past and it is when I had blonde hair. I will say when my hair was bleached it was way easier to get it voluminous and to stay. My hair is growing in my natural color and then there's like this much of it that was dyed. Pretty much my hair doesn't hold as well and, and it's been more difficult to try to get this hairstyle. So I've been practicing things, I've been trying new things, there's a bunch of new techniques I do and I just want to redo the video because I feel like I have way more tips that could help people. As you can see, my hair is wet right now. Right before this, I filmed me like washing my hair. I'm in the midst of filming a hair care routine, so if you want to see that, that's going to be up like after this video. I have pretty much started blow drying my hair after I wash my hair like every single time, just because it makes my hair so much easier to manage. Because my hair is weird. Okay, she's weird. I have very fine hair, but I have a lot of it, so it like appears to look thicker. Some parts are wavy, some parts are really wavy, some parts are completely straight, and it just is annoying when it air dries. Hello? I end up using less heat and my hair just looks better if I just blow dry it and do this after my showers. I wash my hair every three to five days and I know five days might sound crazy to some people but that just works for my hair type and I'm going to explain all of that in the hair care video so if you want to hear that you can go watch that. That's not going to be in this video but you don't have to do this right after you wash your hair. I sometimes will do this like a day after I wash my hair and then you do have to dampen your hair though before you do it if you want it to like be better. Each section you do just like spritz with water and then I'm going to show you everything to do after that. These are the things you are going to need for this video. The essentials. Yeah. I'm going to be using a little hair dryer round brush. These are just the easiest for me. Yes, you can do it with a hair dryer and a round brush. It's just way, way more time consuming, especially if you're doing it on yourself. But I think I am going to be doing a video on how to do that and like practice it, but I'm going to get a very nice hair dryer and that will be in the future. But for now, we're going to be using this bad boy. So just like a round brush, literally any brand. I have the Revlon one. I have a Conair one. This is a Conair one. These aren't like a hundred percent necessary, but I definitely recommend in just getting some clips so you can section your hair way easier so I'm going to be using velcro rollers and I will link the same exact pack that I got down below and then one thing I very 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 recommend is some sort of heat protectant I'm going to explain these products later but both of these products that I have have heat protectant in them and I used to think heat protectant didn't really do anything and I never used heat protectant and then my hair just felt crispy and was really disgusting and like a brush and a comb but I feel like that's pretty like self-explanatory Okay, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna go over all the products that I use to make this like really really great uh, The first thing I'm going to be putting in my hair is chi silk infusion. I recently found this stuff. This stuff is amazing This stuff makes your hair so freaking soft and this stuff goes a long way you get you only need a little bit of this stuff it's kind of hard to see and it's dripping but I just I barely take anything like a pea size amount and I work that through all of my hair. I looked it up and I tried to find if the Chi Silk Infusion is a heat protectant. I think it is, but do not take my word for it. I always go in with my brush after I use a product, like a leave-in. I feel like it works in the product more. This is the Olaplex Bonding Oil. I'm mainly using this because it has heat protection and you just take quite a bit of that. I just dab it all over my hand and I massage that all through my hair. I'm taking a teensy bit more and just putting it on my hands. I remember I used to be so scared of hair oil for some reason. I think it's because my scalp is extremely, extremely oily. So my mindset was like, why would I ever use hair oil? I don't want my hair to be oily, but my scalp is oily and my hair is like extremely dry. I wish I started using it a long time ago because 
it's great. My ends are damp, but this chunk of my hair is still pretty wet. I'm gonna wait 10 minutes and come back just because one mistake that I've made in the past and I've seen a lot of other people do it is people will blow dry their hair when it is like sopping wet. One, it's such a waste of time. Two, you're damaging your hair so much more because you're going over and over and over with a heating tool and it's just so unneeded. So what I've been doing is I've been waiting for my hair to just get damp. I would say like 70-ish percent dry. I am gonna say this really quickly because I, I, whenever I make hair videos, people are always like, this would never work on curly hair. I totally understand that. My hair videos are obviously gonna be more directed towards people with my hair type because I've never had another hair type. I've always had fine hair. I've always had this hair type, so I'm obviously not gonna know what it's like to have curly hair and what products to use for it and all this stuff. But I will say a lot of people have the mindset that you have to have straight hair to do a blowout. You can have any hair type to do a blowout. You can have the curliest of hair and still do a blowout. You're just gonna have to go about it in a different way. I remember Brad Mondo reacted to a video of people with really curly hair giving themselves an at home blowout so i definitely know it's possible it's just you have to do it in a way a different way yeah i just wanted to say that because i know a lot of people are under the impression that you can only do a blowout if you have straight hair i've gotten that comment a million times i'm like no you can do it on every single hair type it's just different i'll be back in like 10 minutes my hair feels like the perfect dampness to go and do all this now, one thing I'm going to add in my hair really quick that has really, really, really helped with root volume and just making my hair stay is this blowout spray. And this is by the brand Amika. They have like a ton of really, really good products. This is not sponsored at all. These are all my opinions. My hairstylist told me about this brand. I've been looking into it and their stuff's like really, really good. You barely need any of this stuff because the first time I used it, I put too much in my hair and I couldn't even like brush out my hair because it just has so much texture to it. If you don't want to use a spray, you could totally use a mousse. They also have a mousse that I tried was really good. Perfect body mousse and it's for extra volume. I don't usually go in with both of these products because it just feels like there's too much product in my hair. I usually prefer the spray. I'm gonna put a teensy bit, not a lot, I'm gonna be sectioning way different than the last time I did. Last time I did this, I started from the bottom and went to the top. And the more I've watched other people do this, I've looked at professionals doing this. Velcro rollers are very like sticky. So if you start from the bottom and go up, yes, you're gonna have your hair sectioned up, but once you take it down, you set it down, it's gonna like get stuck to the roller and you have to like pry it up and then do it. I start from the top now. Take two sections like this, I tie that off and I just clip it in the place and I am just going to put my hair in like a low bun just so my hair is out of the way back here and we're gonna now take this section back out and we're gonna work with this section. This is a rat tail comb. These are like my favorite things while doing this because it makes separating and sectioning so much easier. So I'm going to section off my curtain bangs. The rest of the section I'm just gonna pin back so it's out of our way. My dad is vacuuming downstairs if you can hear that. I'm sorry. You're gonna make sure it's very brushed out. If it's not brushed out, it's gonna get tangled in the brush and it's not gonna be fun. You can go this way or this way. If you want more volume at your roots, you're gonna want to go under because it redirects your hair and it makes your roots go more up. I personally do not like that because I have a lot of baby hairs and then they just stick like straight up and look insane. Take it like this and flip over and just go over it a few times. Oh, also, this is the Infinity Pro Bone Air brush, but it says that on there. That's not what it's called. It's called like the Frizz something hot brush. I'm going to be linking it in the description so you guys don't have to like go and search for it. I'm going for more the voluminous 90s hair that has a little bit of a curl in it. And when you have a smaller barrel, it's more of a curl. The, the difference between this one and the Revlon one that I used in my last video, the Revlon round brush gets so hot. And I don't know if it's like after you have it for a while, it seems like it gets hotter than it used to and it's so close to your hair that it's literally like burning my hair off way worse than any hot brush I've ever used it's not a horrible product like I still use it sometimes if I'm in a rush and just to do it really quickly but this one doesn't get as hot and it's really effective and I really like it I'm gonna take my roller and I'm going to bring it up to the very tip and you're just going with the little curl that you just made 
So you can totally use bobby pins, but you should get some of these clips to hold your Velcro rollers. Even though they're Velcro rollers and they're supposed to stick to your hair, these help a lot. I'm going to take this and I'm going to secure the roller so it's not like bouncing around and stuff. Oh my gosh, wait. My Postmates is here. I got Starbucks. Oh my gosh, wait. I'll be right back. So you're gonna take another like slice from this section. This is usually like the reach sections. And you're gonna do the same exact thing for this section. You're gonna go under and you're just gonna go over it pretty much until it's dry and you have like the desired little bevel you want. And you're good. Right, you're just gonna do the same exact thing. I don't think I need to explain it again. You're just gonna go under and put a big roller in there. This is the like mohawk section and it is way easier to do these first. I usually do two more rows of rollers. I will do another row right here and then the very bottom row. So I've sliced my hair in half like from my ear all the way around. It's probably not a super clean line. I don't really care that much. And tie this in a scrunchie just so it doesn't get in the way. I'm going to kind of line everything up with these rollers. So my first roller in the front will line up with this roller if that makes sense on literally everything else that we're going to do we're going to be rolling under like this because it gives you volume underneath and it makes your hair appear just bigger and more voluminous for these sections i kind of like pull my hair up like this and then do the roller because it always gives me way more volume at my roots and yes this part can be like extremely annoying if you have layers because of all that hair that just fell out but you kind of just need to keep like putting it on the roll this part is very annoying and then i'm just gonna throw a clip in there so i'm just gonna go around this whole entire section and do the same exact thing I only have the bottom section left and it's the same exact thing as this section we just go under and this is usually like three rollers i don't know if you guys can see i have an extra roller somewhere in here on this side and i don't on this side also my hair keeps falling out of these so i have to put bigger clips on them i have more hair on this side of my head than this side i need to like put another roller on this side and i have to like squish it in there and it's always so complicated but i'm going to do the under section right here and then i will be back all done this is them they're not the neatest they could be also i'm not a professional so the more you do it the faster it will take it probably takes me 15 to 30 minutes to do it this is the thing i do that makes my hair last so long it doesn't get oily fast because as soon as your hair gets oily it goes flat but what i do is i spray dry shampoo in my hair the day i wash it so then as soon as my hair gets oily it's instantly absorbed and it just gives your hair more texture and i have very fine hair and i need that in my life mainly like in my roots i focus it a lot like right here on the crown of my head because that's where i get oiliest the fastest so that's the last step for now now we're gonna wait and i will be back in 30 minutes probably like an hour it's been probably like an hour or a little over an hour and i'm just going to take the clips out Ooh, see you can already see how it's like kind of lifted at the root kind of get like stuck like that one was the tiniest bit stuck just like take your time and don't just like yank try and yank it out as soon as you try and yank it out i swear it just gets way more tangled okay we can already see the volume and i don't even have all of this hair out yet all the volume guys look at look at all the volume now for my favorite roller we got a lot of volume oh wow Need to comb out my hair look at how shiny my hair is this is why i blow dry my hair because if i don't blow dry my hair my hair isn't shiny my hair feels way healthier i haven't seen any more damage too because i've been using heat protectant this is my favorite hairstyle ever and i think i have finally mastered it it's just it's so pretty I've, there's a weird shadow on my face right now i hope you guys can see how like shiny it is too 
If you do this hairstyle and you just have a straight blunt cut, it might not look like this. If you want this hairstyle to look really, really good, get some face framing layers and round layers. I get questions on what my haircut is all the time. I have long curtain bangs, face framing layers, and round layers. I have finally like found the perfect haircut that is like perfect for if I don't want it styled and then perfect for when I do. And then sometimes I will go in with a hair oil on my ends if my ends feel a little bit dry. But honestly, I put enough of the Olaplex oil in before I blow dried my hair and my hair seems moisturized. Like tomorrow if my ends feel dry, I'll put some oil in my hair. That's pretty much it. If any of you guys try it, make sure to like DM me pictures of it. I love when you guys do that. It makes my freaking day. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> I know you like the way I put my words together But I need you to stick with me just like some birds to feathers Or like bricks to scales, hand to hand Dropping corn straight down the well Wish me well, wish me well, Hey, Always talking about the fishing scales Things that's gonna throw my mind off focus Probably what's gonna get my drug use more